lost in the gloom. In the quaint, leaf-strewn streets of Crestwood, Emma's return was less a homecoming and more a mission. As a forensic psychologist, she'd haunt her skills profiling the darkest minds, but this visit was to care for her aging father, a once robust man now fading like the town's old storefronts. One crisp morning, as she sorted through the mail cluttered on the dining table, plain, unmarked envelope caught her attention. It was addressed to her father, no return address. Inside, a single piece of paper held a chilling message. Tomorrow, fire will engulf the old school at noon. Save them, if you can. Skepticism was her professional reflex, yet something in the pit of her stomach told her this was different. Despite her father's protestations, Emma drove to the school the next day, arriving just minutes before noon. As the clock struck, smoke began curling up from beneath the gymnasium doors. Her swift call to 911 averted catastrophe, but the fire was no accident, and the letter was no prank. Word of the incident, and the letter predicting it, spread through Crestwood like wildfire. More letters began to appear, each foretelling personal tragedies with eerie precision. Beloved teacher's car crash, the local diner's sudden infestation. All predicted, all occurred. Fear gripped Crestwood, a community once bound by trust now fraying at the seams. Emma couldn't stand idly by. She collaborated with Lucas, a childhood friend turned data analyst. They theorized the predictor knew the victims personally. Each recipient was connected to the local post office, pouring over hours of security footage. A pattern emerged, a hooded figure, always present, never sending anything. Their breakthrough came when they traced the sale of a computer belonging to the deceased post office manager, known for his invasive curiosity into residents' lives. The buyer, a shadowy figure with a grudge against the community, had acquired the database containing secrets of almost every townsperson. It wasn't just random, it was revenge, methodical and cold. As Emma and Lucas unraveled the web of data misuse, they pinpointed the perpetrator, Michael, a reclusive former journalist whose life crumbled when the post office manager exposed a devastating secret in his past. Using the database, Michael orchestrated the events to turn the town inside out, relishing the chaos born from his orchestrated disclosures. Confronting Michael proved to be the most harrowing ordeal. In his dilapidated house, Surrounded by monitors and newspaper clippings, the air thick with the smell of stale revenge, Emma tried to reason with him, but Michael was too far gone, believing his actions were justified balances to the scales of his own ruined life. In a tense standoff, as Michael prepared to send another predictive letter, this one foretelling a disaster at the town's hospital, Emma and Lucas managed to subdue him using their understanding of his psyche and vulnerabilities. The letters stopped, but the scars they left on Crestwood would linger. In the aftermath, as the town slowly pieced itself back together, Emma reflected on the fragile nature of privacy and trust. Crestwood would heal, but the shadows of the letters would always be a dark footnote in its history. As she helped her father recover, both from illness and the shock of recent events, Emma knew her fight against the exploitation of personal secrets was just beginning. The battle for privacy, like the embers of a doused fire, needed constant guarding. If you were gripped by Emma's chilling journey through secrets and shadows, don't forget to like, share this story, and subscribe for more deep dives into the darkness of human nature. Join us as we unravel more mysteries in the quiet corners of seemingly peaceful towns.